Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. New developments in a story our Alex Michelson first broke last Friday night about alleged sexual activity between children at a church operated preschool in Carson. Alex tells us state regulators have shut the preschool down early and he has the exclusive on camera comments of the church pastor. He's live now in Valencia. Alex. Michelle, the pastor says uh, that the church is now considering appealing that decision of shutting down the school, but he admits that he is, quote, shocked by what he's learning tonight. I'm deeply distressed personally that this has happened. In his first interview since the scandal broke, I asked the interim pastor about supervision problems at the school. The fact that we're still hearing this certainly lends credence to the concern that about supervision. So it sounds like it wasn't corrected. What the people from state licensing are telling us is that's yes as to what you're saying. The school was set to close on Friday, but the state shut it down immediately when licensors determined there was an immediate risk to the children in care at First Lutheran Child Development Center. I was stunned. Attorney Greg Owen is discussing the newest report from the California Department of Social Services. A state regulator claims to have witnessed a child put their face in the butt of another child and bite it. All the while, none of the five staff persons in the room saw anything. I think the word would be insane. I, I've never seen anything like this in my 30 years of practice. During our interview last Friday, Richard McCarthy became the first parent to allege his four-year-old child had oral sex at the First Lutheran Church School. Sunday, this mother said her five-year-old girl did the same. Despite those stories sparking a possible criminal investigation, this latest incident allegedly happened less than 24 hours ago. It is disappointing to know that even after all of the things that have taken place. The school had told me repeatedly it was closing because the director was leaving for, quote, personal reasons. But that director is quoted by the state saying, quote, we are closing down because our staff is not following through with proper procedure. Late tonight here in Valencia, two more families came forward to attorney Greg Owen. Uh, that brings the total number of families who now say that their children had oral sex at the school to eight. Reporting live from Valencia, Alex Michelson, ABC7 Eyewitness News.